Shumac T. I think August has got to be one of the best months of the year for hunting wild edibles. You can get them all year long, but August is nice because you start getting into the late summer and fall mushrooms. We just had a bunch of rain, so that's what I'm headed off to do is hunt mushrooms and uh, make shumac tea, gather hazelnuts, cherries. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to stop along the way if I find some edibles and show you guys evening primrose which I just passed up. Here's some more. I'm pretty sure I've done at least one or two videos on this plant but it never hurts to do it again. It's a good plant to know. Common evening primrose. Now this isn't the evening primrose that grows over in like England and Europe and it's not the one that grows in your flower bed this is a wild variety common evening primrose but it gets uh, yellow flowers that appear to have four petals and it gets these little buds which are perfectly edible. Flowers are perfectly edible. The leaves, when the plant is young and it's in the basal rosette stage, are good, uh, good green for a salad. And the root in late winter or early spring before the plant starts to grow is an edible as well. Oh, Japanese beetle on there. not sure what kind of cherries these are. I thought they were choke cherries, but they're not very bitter and they're pretty good sized. Mm -hmm. Considering we haven't had much rain, this uh, staghorn shumac should be uh, still full of uh, vitamin C to make for some good tea. And the uh, way you tell it's staghorn shumac is below those red berries, the stem is fuzzy like a stag's horn when he's in the velvet. But, uh, I well, figured I'd just stop and show you that. I'm not going to gather any today, but uh, makes a great tea. And you can eat all the shumacs except for poison shumac. And poison shumac looks completely different, so there shouldn't be any risk of confusing the edible shumac with the poison shumac. Those berries are also dried and used as a condiment, as a seasoning as well. So something to think about. Finding lots of other good wild edibles, just not in season. Jerusalem artichoke. This gets little potato-like tubers that are edible. Traffic. Queen Anne's lace has an edible root, it's a carrot. And chicory. Now 
I've heard that chicory root, when it's roasted, is a good coffee substitute. But I talked to some of my old family way back and they said that they would use the chicory root roasted and they would add it to the coffee to extend it. But alone, they said it wasn't very good. Oh, hey guys. Pokeweed. That's edible in the early spring when the plants are only about six inches high. But you gotta boil the leaves uh, at least one time and get rid of the water. I've never ate it, but my grandparents did. They ate a lot of it. You can find so many wild edibles in just a short, short distance. I mean, there's the pokeweed right next to it. This cat briar or smilax. This plant, you see the leaf. It gets uh, the young, tender, edible shoots in the springtime. Late spring are edible. And it also gets these uh, dark blue berries on it. Now I've heard reports that the berries are edible, but I I don't know if I would trust that. I'd have to recon reconfirm that with some other sources before I decided to try it. And uh, right across the way from that, there's some young burdock rosettes. They're white and fuzzy on the underside. That's how you tell the difference between other plants that it might be confused with. Now it's late summer, and really you want to harvest these in the, well, in the winter or in the early spring before the plant starts to grow. And you want to harvest the roots of these uh, rosettes before the thing bolts up. But being as these are young, you could probably dig these up and get some edible roots out of there. I've, I've dug them up in the throughout the summer when they're small like this and the roots are small but they're edible and it's actually a pretty good pretty good edible if you give it an opportunity you know I keep stopping to take pictures and videotape all these wild edible plants I'm never gonna get to my mushroom hunting spot But I probably went five miles now. I'm about halfway there. And in that time, I've probably found at least 20 wild edibles. I probably videotaped and took pictures of 10. There's another. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and support.